Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Shinblade back with another Steve Fox video. Now, we're going to talk about his wall push that a lot of people did not know about. It was the different frames of it. You got like three different uh, situations where it could be uh, less frames, more frames to do more moves like rocket launcher. You can do pickaboo 4 1 plus 2. And some frames you can only do pickaboo uh, 4 1 plus 2 or a Sonic Fang or anything along that nature. So, without further ado, hope you guys enjoy the video. Hit that like and subscribe button. Support your boy. Let's get into it. Okay, everybody. So now the question I get asked on the um, on the wall push, they be like, "How can you tell how far does it take to push to know what, how many frames you got to land what you have to land?" So what I did was use my eye test like I always use. So I think if you at least a foot off the wall, that's at least telling you 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 at 13. But the travel distance. I believe you get 16 through 18 frames or maybe more but i do know there are three different ranges of frames you get from the wild push um and this could add to your game so when you're finding your opponent don't only add you know sometimes you right here but i want to see most of you steve fox players add the push because the push is very good get it makes them think and if you do it enough once they start ducking the push you open a room for sway back one to your sonic fan. Let's start from the first frame of the pushes. See all, what all we get. So now, this is a very common a common position in the fight. After after a wild combo, they tech roll you right here, right? So this must be you get your ten. Okay, we see this one 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 two. You don't get twelve frames right here. So. Let's start here. Let's get a little bit closer. Let's swing. Okay, so we're figuring this out together. When you swing it, you at least get 12. That's 12. Let's see, can we at least get 13 if we swing it? Okay, so now we know in general. When you swing wild push, you at least get 13 frames. Let's try 14 frames and see what that works. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Let's be for sure, for sure. Let's put them on blocking, blocking. Okay, so we know you get 14 frames on the swing. You don't get 15. As you see, that four, one plus two misses. You get 14, but like I said, why would you do that? If you could master, okay, if you're beginning, you're new to Tekken, and you're, it's a lot of you guys new, and I appreciate, I appreciate you guys supporting my Steve Fox guys. You guys been continuously giving me credit on it. I thank you for that. But as more as you play, always practice the peekaboo for one plus two on the wall, the timing of it. I just noticed just now there's a different timing to the early swing because I used to do the 13th framer on maybe my 16th framer and walk you guys through it. So once you put them on the wall, you press your peekaboo as soon as they back touch the wall. And put Pickaboo continuously to hold four. Once you push one wall, you have to input Pickaboo. As soon as you input Pickaboo, instantly slide up to one plus two while you're already holding four. Once that back touch the wall. Input peekaboo instantly slide to one plus two while already holding forward. Now, if you want to separate the inputs of pressing forward and press forward twice on peekaboo, that's your uh, recommendation. But mine is to press once you hit the peekaboo while holding forward, three plus four, continuously to hold forward and just press one plus two. Now, let's go to the other finding of the 16. 
or more frame wall push. Now that we uh, studied the first, uh, the first frame was only 10 frames. The second frame is 13. Now let's find the other sweet spot. Okay, this is where I usually land the uh, the, the the wall push, and I get my um, pickaboo four one plus two. But now that we know that you can get that pickaboo four one plus two from being close on the wall, you get 13 frames anyway. So that's new to me also. So you'll see more of that in my gameplay. So now we're about to see the damage you can get from getting a 16 plus frame wall push. Wow. So you can get all that for just a wall push. Make your opponent know. And this is what I mean by conditioning. So let's say you land today like on the first or second round. And y'all in the same position on the third or fourth round, something like that. When you guys in the same scenario, you lean back, they're going to try to duck it. Or most likely, they're gonna, if they're confident, they'll just break it. One plus two. But most people try to duck it and launch you. That's when you apply this pressure. The sway back one. Again. You get back two now. We know back two is 17 frames. Anything else we could possibly get? Oh my god. So 18 frames. So we at 18 frames now. But there's some reason to use numbers. Okay. Maybe if you had a wall break, yes. Which I am gonna sh show you guys that because we just figured it out. So you had 18 frames. So let's see. Let's see um, how many more frames we got. We don't got 22. We got 23. What else we got? 28. No. We don't got that many moves to. We know we get that. That's 17. That'd be nice. Um. Let's try. Do we have a 19 frame move? 23. I already did that. All right, so looks like we stuck with pick move forward to the 18 frame. I'm not sure if a 19 frame I can know of, but like I said, if you right here, let's say he only get like 40 points of damage of health left, or something easy, four one plus two, 15 frames, going to get him up out of there. But again, you got back two. The Sunny Fang, even more damage. 50, 51 damage. Now, get to the nitty gritty, show you how to do this. So, on the wall push, back two. Same scenario with the peekaboo. Four, three plus four. Hold forward and go to one plus two. That's nice, man. Like I said, very effect very effective against the wall. Very easy to uh very easy to do also. Just put the training in. Like I said, you're gonna start off with this, start off with, with the slow stuff. Start off with two two two. It don't matter where you are on the wall. I'll start off with two two. Just get it comfortable with it. Or do two one. Just to get comfortable with it. Once you feel like you're ready to step up, go ahead go ahead and, and uh Put the work in, man. Pick, pick a boot for one plus two. Now, I'm going to try this in matches. So I have not did this yet in the match. I always go for the instant. Uh, I always go for the instant uh, pick a boot for one plus two. But now that we are here now, a little bit more knowledge. We get our damage. And right back in the same position where you can sway back and scare the shot your opponent. Now, I got two more things to show y'all. Th that's it for the push guy. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. I got a couple more things I'm gonna show you guys. Let's get into it. Now, I know you guys, again, sick and tired of seeing these Dragon Dolls out here. Me, I personally, I see they're starting winning tournaments. They out here, they figuring out the blueprint, how cheap they are. Now, it's Steve Fox. I'm going to now insert myself in heat mode 
probably mid health or wherever I feel safe that need to activate it. Let me tell you why. Because we get a punish on two of his moves. Let me show you. So, if Dragonaut choose to slide. Again, while you're in the heat. Look what we get, y'all. Credit to Gohan for showing me this earlier. So, you know, we all Steve players. We all need help. Even the best of the best of the ones. So if you guys got any information for me, it's Gohan. He's in my Discord. Give him a shout out. Now, he uh, gave us better options to go into versus Dragonaw. Because I I didn't I dislike not punishing him for doing this to me. So now when I'm in the heat mode, he got to think twice because of this. Launcher. Again, it's close looking for a one. Hold forward and heat to activate your lunch. So while you block it, close looking forward. Make sure you hold the forward. Down back. Close looking forward. Launch. So now, if Dragon Eye does a slide, I'm going to show you guys a little combo. It was awesome with the video. Hope you guys enjoy it. Very neat, huh? You gotta get the picture, man. Very cool coming to comes with it. Like I said, the wild push, you got 10. You got 10 frames on the, on the close swing, push up on the back. When you swing them, you got up to uh, 10 to 13 frames to do something. And when you at least a foot off the wall, please remember you got at least, you got 10 to, how much we said, 18 frames to do something on the wall. And while we're at it, let's see what do we get on the wall, on the 18 frame wall push. Now, now that we're here, let's just see what the flex look like. Yo, and that concludes the Steve Fox Advanced Push Guide. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys implied to your gameplay. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys' video. I love when you guys in the Discord posting your matches, posting your experiences, posting your upcoming. I love it, man. I trust me. I'm always looking. I always put my emote by. If I miss it, I always go back and get it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to keep pushing these videos out for you with these guides. More character guides are coming soon. And more Steve Fox Advance guys are coming. Please like and subscribe. Follow the channel. Support your boy. Thank you. Peace.